Hey what's up guys, Master Max back here with episode 2 of the Panda, Panda 3D tutorial series. Alright, so last time we left off with just the tutorial.py file, we did print hello world. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that again. It prints the words hello world. Alright, in this episode we're going to get more into depth into coding. Alright, so I'm just going to go in, into a little depth of what we did here. This print command tells the uh, compiler, it tells it to um, whatever is next after this in quotes to print that. Um, it'll print this, so if you change anything in Hello World, it will print that, so say, Hi, this is a tutorial. A tutorial. And it prints that. It does exactly what it says. Another way you can print things is you can assign a variable to, um, a string to a variable. So you can say, my variable, my variable is equal to, um, cool. So that, and then you can do print my ver, and it prints out cool, which, and cool is equal to my ver. Um, so yeah, that's just a little intro. Um, now we're going to get into more of the, we're going to get into more of the Panda 3D stuff right now. So let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and get this thing started. Alright, so first what you want to do is get some imports for you. Um, First, first off, you need to you need this import right here. It's uh, from direct dot showbase dot capital showbase import capital showbase. And what this will do is it will this basically imports the library that has the the window in it that uh, that requires it to open your window. Um, so and the rest of this code here it is um, you do base is equal to show base and close that off and make that a function right there and then you do base dot run dot run alright so go ahead once you have that type go ahead and execute that all it does is opens this box right here this is the box where everything will happen in. This is just the command prompt. It just tells you what's going to happen within the code, and this actually shows the result of the code if if you set, if you tell it to. So what we're going to do now is we are going to be loading up some files. Uh, we're going to load up some of the uh, Toontown files. All right. So what you want to do is you want to go, you want to go into your Toontown wherever you, your folder on your desktop your pen 3d folder pick any any file you want go into phase 3 3.5 wherever I'm just going to go into phase 3 right now um, you want to avoid these three right now those will come in later tutorials go into models and uh, character what that will show you is um, a bunch of the tune uh, tune models um, right now we're just going to go into props and let's see let's pick um, I don't know Let's pick panel right here. All right, so we we're going to pick panel panel right here. So what you want to do is you want to make a new variable, call it panel. Panel is equal to um, loader dot load model, and this command will load anything that is within the parentheses right here, as long as the source the source to the item is correct. So what you want to do is go back to this folder, and you want to go back to the phase three right here okay and starting from here is what you want to do so you go into phase three go back to your file right there models props and you panel is right there so what you do is exactly what you just did go phase underscore three slash models slash props slash panel dot bam and you go ahead and close those quotes and in the parentheses if I can and there you go. Now this does not show the this this will not show the file or the model within the game window. What you have to do is you have to do call panel dot uh, reparent to render, and this basically this will set the set the model inside the game. So once you have that all typed up, go ahead and press execute. And we don't we are missing an import, so that's not good at all. Um. Let me be right back. All right, guys, I am back, and actually, this code does work. We just mess—I just messed up a little bit. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna introduce classes to you. 
and classes are basically groupings it's just grouping codes together so you want to do class and title it my app and you want to give it properties of the show base that you imported and go ahead and set a colon right there then you want to go down to you don't have to go down to just stylistically correct you want to go def which means define underscore underscore i n i t underscore underscore parenthesis self and what this will do is that means when you call upon the my application class or when you load when you open up that class that as soon as it opens it will run anything underneath the i n i t which stands for initiate and so now you want to do show base show base dot i underscore underscore i n i t underscore underscore self now this is just this is just telling the program to initiate the class of show base right here inside this program and now what you want to do is copy and paste the code we have up here oops there we go copy and paste it and go ahead and put it up there make sure there are tabs there are two tabs um, so that it's underneath this as so also what you want to okay and so now to do this you want to go you want to do um, app equals my app you want to remove this line as well and also you want to change this base to app so it runs this class right here this class right here go ahead and press execute and it should work but you don't see anything at first at first glance you don't see anything what you have to do is that you have to click both mouse buttons at the same time simultaneously scroll down a little bit and then right click and push it up and there you go it's right there it's right there that mo that's the model right there guys uh, that's what you're seeing that is the panel and yeah it loaded pretty good except the textures look kind of bad um, I'm not sure why but the textures may look different for you it just maybe the textures are off for me I'm not too sure probably is but it's whatever but that is how you load a model up into your uh, your programs so thanks for watching guys um, next tutorial we will be doing something different something more advanced and I hope you guys enjoy this video if you guys did leave a like in the comments below if you guys like to see anything specific on Panda 3d leave that in the comments below as well I'm always checking the comments if you guys have any criticism in that comments below thanks for watching guys this has been Master Max see you guys next time